Good Mundo, welcome to the club. How does it feel to be a New York City FC player? Feels great. I'm obviously from Iceland. I've been once to New York and well, that was a culture shock for me. The tallest building I'd seen in Iceland was probably yeah, 10 stories high. So yeah, I'm just uh, thrilled, really excited um, to get going and, and play football again. What was it that made you decide that this was the best next step for you in your career? I spoke briefly to Anton Tinnerholm, who plays there. Uh, everything he told me about the club was uh, very positive. But the main thing is just that uh, it's under the city group. I know Ronnie Dale a little bit from before, from Norway. Just what I heard about the club was very exciting. You mentioned there that you know Ronnie. I mean, how much of a role did he play in your decision to join us? Played in Norway before. Uh, he was the coach at uh, Strömskotse at that time, and I, I've seen the way he works and how he likes to play football. So that was a, a really big part of my decision when I saw that he took over. Uh, and uh, even before that, obviously, it's a, it's a big club and it's a big opportunity for me to come to play uh, in the States. How would you describe yourself as a player? It's always difficult to describe yourself, but uh, I'm left-footed. Then I think the Icelandic DNA is always to give your best for the team. I guess I'm a creative person, so I actually like when, I'm, when I can play a little bit different positions. Uh, I've played in my career as a number six, as a number eight. So uh, it's hard for me to pick a favourite. I, I simply enjoy to play football, but basically giving the best for the team wherever I play and wherever position I have on the team. And presumably that challenge of adapting to a, a different style and a different league, I mean, as a, as a footballer, that must be exciting as well. Definitely, and, and I think it, it plays a big role also what you do, do off the pitch, so it will be maybe a cultural difference as well from, for me to come from Iceland. But I'm used to it, I've, uh, I've played in a few different clubs in Scandinavia, so I know how it is to come into a new team and, and to adapt quickly, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, I just take it as a challenge and I think, uh, well, I know I'm just really excited for that. And what about New York then, as a city? What does it mean to you and, and what do you remember of, of your visit there? I mean, it's hard to describe, it was just a cultural shock for me, but uh, then again, I've lived in Copenhagen now, so uh, I know a little bit more how it is to live in a big city with, with all the, the opportunities that comes with it, so that's obviously really exciting for me, but uh, first and foremost, I'm just focusing on playing, playing well for New York, uh, and then it's just a bonus that it's in a, in a great city. And what would a successful first season at New York City look like for you? I think I will find out a bit more when I when I start training with the, with the lads, get to know Ronnie a bit better. Uh, right now, the focus is basically to to get to to camp with the team uh, and kind of see where I stand. And what about off the pitch? If we were going to give our fans a kind of picture of uh, of you as a person, what would you like to do away away from football? Then you should probably just bring me a guitar, and I could show you. Uh, so music is my main hobby outside the pitch. Um, I've only wrote songs in Icelandic at the moment, but maybe for the fans I could write the song in English and, and show them my talent there. But uh, it's very important for me that my main focus is on on, the, on New York City to begin with, and then maybe later on I can I can show them what I'm about when it comes to music. And finally, do you have a message for our fans? Yeah, I just simply can't wait to come to New York, um, showcase my talent as a football player and being an awesome person as well. So uh, I'm really excited to get going for the next season and I hope I'll see you at the stadium.